This is Game Changer Month. And we're going to change the game. Can I get a witness out there? Well, good morning. It's so good to have you in the house. We want to welcome all of you here this morning. Yes, we're getting some showers of blessings. But that's okay. The Lord is in the house. And you are here. That makes it very special. Come on, come on, come on. If you're visiting us this morning, you are not just a visitor to us. You are our guest. We don't take that for granted. You could have been any other place worshiping, but here you are with us. We want to say thank you so much for being our guest today. I welcome you on behalf of our senior pastor, Pastor Wilbur Alton, Sister Barbara, the whole family of FPC, to say we are delighted to have you. Come on, FPC. Come on, FPC. Yes. This morning, we have some special guests with us. We have worshiping with us some of the members of the Lady Piranhas flag football team. Some of them are here under the leadership of their coach, Kenneth Clark. You know, they are five-time champions. They are back-to-back -back champions. They are the champions. Yes, Lady Piranhas. Just, just stand for us, please. Just stand for us. Some of them are here. Yes, yes. Flag football is on the move. They are game changers. Game changers. So good to have them here worshiping with us this morning. And also, we are so very special. We are delighted to have with us. And he, they are no visitor to us. They are a part of our family. Dr. JL and Sister Pat, we are so delighted to have them here this morning worshiping with us. Yes. Well, we're asking all of our guests uh, this morning to please complete for us that connection card. When you walked in this morning, you receive a bulletin. It's a perforated portion that you can just tear it off, but fill out the information for us, leave it at the welcome center when you exit the building, and you are going to receive something very, very special, very special at the Welcome Center when you return that connection card. So please do that for us. Again, FBC, let's give all of our guests in the house a very, very, very good <laughs> welcome. Now, I want to ask you, I will just invite you all to stand. We're going to move around. We're going to connect with someone this morning out of the aisles. The team is going to do something up-tempo and special for us to move around. Let's connect with someone. Any Laker in the house? Oh! We are, we are a chosen generation Called for to show His excellence All are required for life All are required for life God has given me A chosen generation. We are a chosen generation. Call for to show His excellence. All are required for life. All are required for life. God has given me. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What He says I am. Where He says I'm at. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What He says I am. Me, I know who I am. We are a 
chosen generation Call for to show His All are required for life All are required for life God is given me I know who I know I know who God says I am What He says I am Where He says I'm at I know who I am I know who God says I am What He says I am Awesome, awesome, awesome. So good to see all of you in the Lord's house on this very special Lord's Day morning. Not even the rain could keep us down or keep us out. The Lord is good, and we believe that his mercies endureth forever. This is a very special day. Like we heard earlier, we are in the middle of men's month. And um, if you miss the grill competition yesterday, listen. I, I was supposed to be a judge, but I sampled all the goods, and that disqualified me from really arriving at a good conclusion. Um, I think the Acklands Grill Conk won the... But it, it was difficult judging the competition, believe me. These guys are awesome chefs. I, I'm telling you, they did a fantastic job in preparation. And you know, the rain came down, but the guys kept cooking. And um, I think it's a testimony to the level of commitment that our brothers have. And um, yesterday, like I said, was really, really an exciting time. And they, we have been working on next Sunday. Next Sunday is the last Sunday in the month. So you thought we were good last Sunday. Well, we're going to be better this Sunday. And listen, next Sunday, I'm telling you, it's just going to be a demonstration of unity and excitement that you've never seen or heard before. But as the ushers prepare themselves to receive our tithes and offerings this morning, we've been singing about the goodness of God and I want to encourage you to demonstrate your love for him by the sacrifice in your giving today. The scripture says the Lord loves a cheerful giver. And like we always say, if you're going to do it grudgingly, it's better not to do it. So if you're having some problems pulling that 10 or 20 or 50 or 100 out of the wallet, it's better to keep it in so that you don't be overcome with anxiety and stress. But if you appreciate what God has done for you, just open it and let the money fly. I, I believe the Lord would be pleased with that. And like we always say, if you are here as a guest this morning, you're not under any pressure whatsoever. But those of us who call FBC home, we are going to honor the Lord with our gifts, our tithes, and offerings. Let's bow for prayer. Father, we honor you today because of who you are you for the privilege you've given us to serve. Thank you, Lord, for the way you have sustained us and opened new doors for us. And so this morning, as we return to you a portion of that which you have entrusted to us, we pray that you would help us to do it cheerfully so that, Father, your name would be glorified and the name of Jesus would be advanced and his cause advanced, even here in this section of our vineyard and beyond. To the glory of Christ. Amen. Ushers, please.
Thank you so very much, guys. Last Sunday, you know, I had on, I believe, an Oakland Raiders jersey. And as I walked in this morning, guys want to know that I changed my allegiance. Well, no, I got traded on Thursday. <laughs> and um, so, thank you. So, so I had to move closer to home, and so... Today, uh, you know, the Dolphins play is a little late and they need all the help they can get, so I decided that I would join ranks with Brother Sheldon and Ken and the rest of them to see if we can get them over the, over the hum today. Um, but, you know, all this, well, before we go there, I would just like to remind you that this evening at 6, we are going to be having a very special time. Again, all of the brothers are going to be here, but we're inviting as many ladies as want to attend as possible. Um, Dr. J.L. Williams is going to talk to us about global missions. You know, he's a globe trotter. He and Pat, they just kind of go all over the world. We want to have an appreciation for what's happening in Jordan or Nepal or um, Zimbabwe or Kenya or Haiti, you name it, and he can probably give you an update on what's going on there, what is the condition or the um, state of the church and all of those sectors of the world. And um, so I want to invite you to come. We're going to have an informal um, time together. Kind of, we're going to make it as light as possible, but it's going to be very, very, very engaging. So that's at 6, and um, I believe that the weather is going to hold up in order for us to get that under our belt. But um, again, it would really be good to see as many of you here um, for that um, this, this evening. The master's men, the men of our church, and like we said, we set this month aside to encourage, to affirm, and um, to really make a very strong statement, not only to our church, but to our wider community, that when it comes to male involvement, all is not lost. We still have some good men standing. Regardless of what you hear over the media or what you see in the newspaper, we still have some good brothers standing. Very men of good character, brothers that are competent, brothers that are compassionate, and brothers that are courageous, standing on the front line and seeking to make a difference. And um, all this month, we have been blessed in having the talent of the Master's Men Choir, and um, I'm going to invite them to come uh, now, and they're going to do a very special selection for us, and after that, I'll introduce our guests, and we'll be on our way. Come on, let's give it up for the Master's Men. Forever, God is. 
is faithful forever God is strong forever God is with us forever and ever and ever Awesome, awesome. Oh, let's give it up for the. And listen, you don't want to miss next Sunday because they we're going to take it up e even a little higher. So please bring someone with you when you come um, this next Sunday. But this morning we are privileged and honored to have their friends. Dr. J.L. Williams, his lovely wife, Pat, and they're not new to Freeport Bible Church. As a matter of fact, they've been involved in ministry long before 
many, many of us, including your pastor, um, they were partners, even with Pastor Ed Goddard, the founder of Freeport Bible Church. But as I was reflecting, you know, after I became the pastor, we didn't have very much to work with. No instrument, an unfinished little building over on the other side. And the very first keyboard that we had the privilege of receiving came from the New Directions. That's the ministry that Dr. J. L. Williams had. And later down, we needed a bus because we had no way of getting some of the young people to church. Guess what? New Direction provided it. Um, <laughs> and back in the early days, you know, Dr. Williams would bring, and he was a part of the a contemporary band, and um, they came to the Bahamas, did several school campuses, and, um, you know, that is really when we started doing serious outreach way back in the day. But um, many of you, the mental building that we have on the campus here that we call Soul Trap was, again, a contribution from Dr. J.L. Williams and his colleagues through New Direction. Um, And I'm just sharing this with you so you can understand how close our relationship has been over the many decades. And um, after I became the leader of our church association, you know, we needed a building in North Andres. And um, guess what happened? I cried on his shoulder. And the building, we, the church building we have in North Andres, um, again, is a contribution from New Direction and the supporters of New Direction. And um, we, we have a need in Treasure Key for a church building. And guess what has happened? New Direction came to our rescue. But uh, Dr. Williams has been one of my mentors from back in the day. and. Um, I remember one, on one of his visits, this was, I believe, even before I started pastoring, I was kind of complaining a little bit about the challenges in ministry. And he simply said to me, my son, until you can prove yourself that you've really been stamped by the Lord, the persons that you're having these challenges with, they're not going to believe or accept you. And I took that very seriously, and the rest is history. But um, we are honored today to have my friend, the friend of Freeport Bible Church, Dr. J.L. Williams and his lovely wife, Pat, here with us. And Dr. Williams, he's going to come and share God's word with us this morning. Let's put our hands together. All yours. You, Take it. Well, good morning, Freeport. It's a fantastic uh, opportunity for me to be back home, and I sure am glad I got here for uh, dinner yesterday. Uh, for those of you who were not uh, here for the cook-off, you missed a throwdown. I mean, it was out of sight, as far as I'm concerned. All of the men were winners. They said this was the first of several. So, uh, Donna, be sure to send me an email when the next one, because I will be back. Uh, I want to come back and enjoy it uh, some more. But it is uh, great to be here with you. Um, Wilbur gives me a whole lot more credit than I deserve. Uh, but one gift God has given me, and that is to some degree the gift of discernment. And when God takes me around the world, as he has for 50 years, he gives me the ability to discern who are the game changers. And this man is a game changer. And I felt years and years ago that uh, he was going to become one of the great game changers for the kingdom of God.